Hello, my dear students. This is Engineer Christian Enoval, your online professor. Welcome to my video class, and our topic for today is about the basic block diagram of a communications system. But before I start, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for you to be updated on my new videos. All right, let's get it started. So the first block in the communication system diagram uh, will be our source. Okay, when we talk about the source, ito yung mga pinanggagalingan ng mga signal natin, ng mga information at ng mga data. So it can be in any form. It can be in digital form or it can be in an analog form. Now, it will be followed by the transmitter block. Alright? Ano ba yung transmitter, sir? Uh, transmitter is actually this uh, defined as a collection of one or more electronic devices or circuits that converts the original source information to a form more suitable for the transmission media. Alright? So, sa transmitter natin, dapat pala, bago natin i-transmit yung source, yung mga information na nanggaling sa ating source over the communications channel or communications medium, dapat ma-convert muna siya into a compatible form. And that's what transmitter does. So, kino-convert niya yun into a compatible form. Now, it will be transmitted over the communications channel or what we call the transmission media sometimes or the communications medium. Okay? So, for our transmitter, it can use an antenna. Antenna if it's using wireless communications. Why? Because we have two general types of communication system. We have the wired and then we have the wireless. Wired is also termed as fixed or bounded, whereas wireless is termed as unfixed or unbounded as well. Alright? So, when we are talking about wired communications, we are using cables. We are using copper wires. We are using, now, the fiber optic cables. Okay? So, wire ang connection ng transmitter papunta communications channel. Whereas, kapag wireless naman, we are using antenna. Antenna kasi... It uses the air. It uses the electromagnetic waves. Okay? And don't forget that in our communications channel or communications medium, noise is always being introduced. Now, you would ask me, Sir, ano po ba yung noise? Yan po ba yung typical na ingay na naririnig namin lagi? It's actually just a form of noise, yung audible. Okay? But uh, there are also other forms of noises, like kapag nanonood kayo ng TV, no, using the analog uh, signal, hindi pa yung digibox. Okay, kapag nakikita nyo na may mga flickers yung mga uh, images sa inyong television, those are also forms of noises. And in the simplest definition, noise is termed as any unwanted signal. Okay, again, it's being introduced in our communications channel or communications medium. Now, Kung ano yung tinransmit natin over the transmission media, it will be received by the receiver system. Again, uh, in our receiver system, para maging compatible naman yung tinransmit natin na signal doon sa ating receiver, maraming circuits, maraming uh, devices na nasa receiver natin para maging compatible naman siya doon sa magre-receive. Okay? As you can see in our transmitter, no, para maging compatible yan, Sometimes we are using coding, you know, there are processes that we use and that also includes yung tinatawag natin na modulations. So, modulation is another topic and now, sa ating receiver, ang counterpart naman siya is yung decoding at saka yung demodulation na ginagawa natin. Alright? So, as you can see, may noise nga tayo sa communications channel or communications medium. The question is, ano ba yung effect? Epekto, ano ba yung impact? ng noise sa ating communications channel, sa signal na binabato natin, it causes a uh, loss. May mga losses yan, may mga uh, interference. So, kumbaga yung signal natin, nagde-deteriorate na. That's why in our receiver, meron naman tayong mga filters, may mga equalizers, meron tayong mga amplifier to regain yung original power nung tinransmit natin na signal over the communications channel. Kasi, kailangan kung ano yung destination natin, yun din dapat yung binato ng source natin. Alright, so again, this is the basic block diagram of communication systems and it includes the source, 
the transmitter, the communications channel or communications medium or sometimes transmission media and then followed by the receiver and then the last is the destination. And again, don't forget that noise is also part of the basic block diagram. Okay, and it's always being introduced in our communications channel or communications medium. Again, uh, that would be all for today and thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please also like and follow my official Facebook page at Engineer Christian and Novel to keep in touch. See you on our next class.